Hi guys, it's the big one. It's the big match, brown sauce. The two big UK, probably the leaders of the market. I've got on my right HP sauce, on my left Daddy's. Funnily enough, they're both made by HP or Unilever. Let's take a look. I wonder, it'd be funny if it was the same. Nah, it's not. Oh, hey, HP don't tell us. You know. Hmm. Is that a wind? Oh, no, there we go. Breaking news, guys. I think brown sugar, brown, brown sauce is a, uh, is, the brown is from molasses or dates. That's my, don't quote me on that unless I'm right. And I think for tomato sauce and brown sauce, for brown sauce it's dates and, or molasses and sh sugar and vinegar. And that's what makes it these sort of sauces, I think. The other things you add are uh, special things. So that one, the daddy just get vinegar as its main. There's the molasses that thawed after water. Yeah, you've got dates. And then you've got your spices for your added, your secret, your secret sauce. And then in HP we've got tomatoes, I wasn't expecting that. You've got dates in there. For the browniness. You've got spices. Tamarind. Okay, let's look at the sugar. I'm looking at sugar, uh, 17 grams per 100 grams for daddies, for HP it's 23.1 grams of sugar, so there's a lot more in there. Made in Poland, HP Foods, yeah it's not Unilever, it's HP, I don't know if Unilever own HP, but for the moment I'll just say HP. Okay, let's have a, a quick first taste. HP have got that, this sort of lift and fuel thing. I think Daddy says as well, that one was already opened. But I'm having problems understanding it. I think that's it there, is it? And I'll just, ah, there we go, there we go guys. There we go. Well, I've already poured daddies. Yeah, it looks different. <laughs> nice consistency. Okay, here it goes. I'm not sure I like brown sauce, it's alright. Uh, I think the trend seems to be most people take tomato sauce mainly and then brown sauce sometimes as a treat. I don't know. Am I talking rubbish? Here it goes. HP. Yeah, it's nice enough. 5.5 uh, 5 out of 10. As a starter score. And here goes with daddies. I can I can hardly tell the difference to be honest. I would say I like the the HP slightly better. Maybe the molasses coming through in the daddies. I'll give it five point three for now. Let's look at them again. I think it's so daddies has got molasses up high. Yeah, that's oh, that's got molasses as well. I thought I'd spotted something, but I haven't. I don't know what to make of this. 
How are they for fats? Saturates? Hardly any. Almost zero. And daddies? HP? Yeah, almost zero. It's mostly sugar, really. Barcode? Barcode? HP the original and the best, brown sauce, great on sausages and bacon and sandwiches, try on jacket potatoes or baked beans, it's delicious. Spice up your cooking with HP, create mouth watering tasty meals, why not add some HP spice to casseroles, stews and soups, give sausages a tasty glaze or give onion gravy some punch and uh, they've got a recipe for cottage pie. Uh, the the HP cost one pound ninety nine out of Lidl, and I think that's actually a cheaper price than most of them. I think most of them are around two pound fifty for that. That uh, I wish I'd bought the smaller one, because I've got brown sauce all over the place now. Six hundred grams, six hundred grams, and this is a. Uh, 685 grams. It's funny, it looks a lot more. It's only a yeah. And I'm going to, I'm going to try the Young Pretender as well. Bats from Lidl. And because uh, I've still got some left, I'll give it another taste. Here goes it. HP. Yeah, I think I like that one better. It's a more expensive one, of course. I suppose they're going for the the high and main market, and that's their loan, their low market offering now, to an extent. Who knows what that is? Both close. That one feels as if it gets more of dates or molasses or whatever. I don't know what it has. I would have never guessed that one. That was dates or molasses. I about had to guess. It's funny not having tomatoes in it. This Daddy's is getting no tomatoes. And HP is its main ingredient. I can't really taste the tomato at all. Mm. Apart from that, they, they look very similar. Doesn't see what the spices are. That one mentions tamarind. You want me to guess what tamarind is? Oh, no, nah, I won't. I'll add the Young Pretender, one of the Young, young Pretenders, sorry, yes. but what does this mean? It's got the molasses in there, it's got the date paste, it's got some tomato in it, tamarind, and a few other things. Maybe it's just because it's listing its spices rather than just seeing spices. Is this for sugar? Pair of hundred grams, sugar fifteen grams. No, oh, that's low. I'll give it a taste as a, as a reminder. The young pretender.
Yeah, it's the same sort of mix, but I don't know I'll give it 5.1. I'll say it's my, my third out of them, but only just. I don't know. I'm undecided now. Probably I would give HP the Yeah, I think HP is get more up front instant and then you get the vinegary aftertaste. Two others it feels like the the vinegar hits you straight away. Or Yeah, I don't really know actually. They sting your tongue a wee bit. Yeah, Bats has got a funny front taste, instant taste, which isn't so good, but it's alright. But then it gets into the brown sauce mode, same as the others, a sort of vinegar. So, probably I'd go 5.1 for Blatz, 5.3 for Daddy's, 5.5 for HP. I don't think I'll, I'll ever be an, a big brown sauce fan, but who knows. And of course you can add them to stuff. So there you go. I hope that was uh, decisive for you. Some bonus footage and information. I was just looking at the... Museum of Brands website just to look about these two brands and HP it was by some bloke in Nottingham I don't know maybe a grocer or something who created the sauce around about 1905 and then he also created the uh, daddies maybe uh, maybe it was a bit earlier in 1905 but he also created daddies as a sort of down market one the sort of cheaper the cheaper option and so it was created and he heard soon after that it was being used in the House of Parliament cafe and so that must be how it must be HP must mean House of Parliament so HP sauce that was his uh, thing and then uh, it was a British brand up until he sold it on to some other guy Around about, say, 1915 or something, he sold the brand on. He was the one that you know, called it HP. No, I don't know. That's... Anyway, it went on like that until uh, 2005 or six, when Heinz uh, bought the brand. They bought the brand in, say, April 2006. And uh, in May of that year, the same year, they said they're closing down their British factories and they're moving it to the Netherlands factory, the Netherlands Heinz factory. So now it's a Dutch, a Dutch creation, I suppose, since about 2006. Uh, and yeah, that's it. If you want to read more about it, you go to the Museum of Brands on the internet. It's now owned by Heinz.